Piracy and armed robbery in the Gulf of Guinea has become a significant criminal activity with 11 separate attacks between 2013 and 2017. Despite existing laws to reduce these activities, they have not led to significant prosecutions, causing concern for the maritime sector. Very soon, hopefully, we will be passing our, updating our, particularly our laws that deal with piracy in particular. With fishing and other threats, we have very good laws in place and uh, we have done a lot of successful prosecutions. That is a metric to judge the success of maritime security. And one of the major scenarios that has been identified is the legal finish. That is how do we prosecute the criminals after we have arrested them. And I must announce here that um, our Chief Justice, the Chief Justice of Ghana, has taken a personal interest in that aspect. And she's working hard, she's dedicated, even Supreme Court judges and appeals court judges and high court judges to do what we call a moot trial. President Akufuadu emphasized the importance of knowledge sharing among countries that are exposed to territorial crime. In the face of these challenges, it is imperative that we foster greater cooperation and collaboration amongst African maritime forces by working together, sharing intelligence, and coordinating our efforts, we can address effectively maritime security threats and safeguard our maritime domain. The ambassador of the USA to Ghana, Virginia Palmer, acknowledged the importance of advanced discussions in reducing terrorist infiltration in the country. We we'll have many conversations with the Ghana Armed Forces and President Akufo Addo about growing insecurity in the north and the threat to the coastal West Africa from the Sahel. And um, we're working to adapt some of our long-standing security programs to address that threat from the north. The three-day African Maritime Forces Summit in Accra will focus on knowledge sharing collaboration and best practices for managing the blue economy.